Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how to create group of groups in TestNG XML file. Let me answer. This group of groups is also known as meta groups. Sometimes in the interviews, they may be asking you how to create group of groups in TestNG XML file, or they may be asking you how to create meta groups in TestNG XML file. Both are same. Okay, let me answer this for you. So, what exactly are these meta groups or group of groups, first of all? You see, if you are creating one major group out of two individual groups or multiple individual groups, that is called as or known as group of groups or meta groups. For example, there is a group of tests related to smoke. That's called a smoke group of tests. And there's another group of tests, which is sanity group of tests. Okay. Now I would like to create a major group uh, out of these two individual group of tests. That is smoke sanity group. Okay. This is called as a meta group. Okay. Group of groups is called as a meta group. So, so in testng.xml file, we can not only specify to run only an individual group, rather we can create some meta groups, group of groups or major groups out of individual groups, we can create and run them. Okay. So first I'll show you how to run the normal groups in testng XML file. After that, I'll show you how to run the test from the meta groups also. Okay. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID where we have this testng.xml file. And here, uh, here we have the suit tag, here we have the test tag. So inside the test tag, I'll just mention groups. Okay, groups. In case of single group, if you have to run, I have to mention groups here, group tags, starting group tag and uh, ending group tag. And inside this, I'll mention run. And inside this run, I'll mention include. I have to give the group name. Include name is equal to, here name of the group I have to mention. So here I have to provide the name of the group. For example, here, if I go to this, uh, th there are three classes containing individual test methods, which are not grouped into any category. So let's say I'll group this uh, at the rate test, uh, groups attribute with the help of groups attribute, I'll group this at the rate test into one group that is, you know, uh, smoke group, let's say. This one, I'll say sanity, let's say. And I'll go to the class two. And in that, I'll just uh, group into groups out, right? Groups is equal to smoke. This one, let's say groups is equal to decoration, I'll say, different group. So this one, name is equal to, groups is equal to regression. This one also, groups is equal to regression. Like this, I have grouped all the tests in all the available classes, right? In all the available classes, I've already grouped the tests. So save everything. Now in the testng.xml file, I'll just provide smoke. So what will happen? What will happen if I would like to run only the test methods which related to which group or which category, smoke category. So here, if I go to the class one, here in the class one, only one test method is smoke. Remaining is sanity, it's not going to run. Class two, this is also smoke, this is going to run, but this is regression, so it's not going to run. And here, one more thing, class three, here both are regression, so it's not smoke, so they don't belong to the uh, smoke category or smoke group. And when I run this particular testing.xml file, where I specify to run only which group, smoke group, only smoke test will run, only two tests should run, only two test methods should run. Out of six, only two test methods should run. You see, only two test methods, that is a C1 test one and C2 test one got run, which are marked as smoke. This is how we can run a single group, okay, using the testing.xml file. Now, if I would like to run the meta group, that is group of groups in uh, by specifying the meta group in testing.xml file, what I have to do is, I don't have to delete this, but uh, just inside these groups, before this, uh, before this run tags, use this tag known as define, name is equal to, just give the name of the meta group, that is, for example, this is sanity and smoke group, like this, and inside this, cut it from here, this group inclusion, you just provide in the define tags, and uh, along with that, you provide another group also, let's say this is a uh, sanity. Now here, instead of, uh, here, instead of specifying only one group name, I'll provide the meta group name that is sanity and smoke. Okay. Here I can create any number of meta groups here. This is only meta group created. I'll create one more meta group here. I'll just name it as a uh, smoke and regression. 
yeah, smoke and recreation groups I'll be including. So, but I would like to run only sanity and smoke thing. Okay, this group I would like to run, meta group I would like to run. So the rest which are related to smoke, the rest which are related to sanity, both are going to be run. So if I run this sanity and smoke group, meta group, smoke test and sanity test are going to run. How many are there? Let's find it out before running. So this is smoke and this is sanity. Both are going to run because this is smoke and sanity, meta group. So two tests already. Third one this is not going to run. Total three. These are not going to run. Only smoke and sanity are going to run. Out of six, three are smoke and sanity. So we are running the meta group here instead of individual group. Let's run it and see whether the three test methods are going to run or not. Three test methods are going to run. You see, it's going to run. It, they, they got run. Now, instead of this meta group, I would like to run this meta group, smoke and regression. So how many are smoke and regression? Let's find it out uh, in class one. This one is smoke, but this is not uh, either smoke or regression. So only one test method will run from the class one. Here, this is smoke. Both will run. Here, regression. Both will run. Two plus one plus one. That is total four test methods should run from this meta group known as smoke and regression. Both smoke and regression group tests will run. That is four test methods should run if we are correct. Okay. If we are right, four test methods. Okay. Five got run. What's the issue? Let's find it out anywhere. This is smoke and regression, right? So let's find it out. How many smoke and regressions are there? One. Let's find in two. How many are there? Smoke is the regression. So that means two. One plus two is three. And uh, here in three, there are two. That's correct only. Okay. We were wrong. Five should be running. Five got run. Okay. Both smoke and regression got run. Okay. This is how we can create meta groups and run them by specifying these meta groups in test XML file. We can run. Okay, that is related to the meta groups, a combination of groups. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye bye.